the former uh, head of state's residence in the IPC, we had promised to give a detailed report of why we are here, a detailed statement of why we are here. Yes, police, at police, we are investigating a case of theft of motor vehicles um, and the theft of uh, a title deed in which Elizabeth Chanjepiri and her daughter identified that Faruna Patel complained that the former first lady, Mrs. Esther Lungu, grabbed three of their motor vehicles, namely a Mitsubishi Kanta bearing the session number BFV 5282, a Toyota Alex bearing the session number 3986 and a Toyota Runnings bearing the session number BLA 9772. The suspect is also alleged to have grabbed a certificate of title for stand number S stroke Lusaka, but I won't read out the full stand number. This stand number is located in Lusaka, in Livala South, near Waterworks area. The certificate of title was grabbed from Faruna Patel, the daughter to Elizabeth Chanje here. The two incidents occurred between 8th August 2022 and 9th August 2022 in Lusaka. The victim, Elizabeth Chanjapiri, is alleged that she was detained at one of the police stations in Lusaka on the 8th of uh, August 2022. And on the 9th, she was driven to the residence of uh, the former first lady where she was made to surrender the said properties. Now, why we are here today, our investigations led to this venue where we discovered one of the motor vehicles which was parked in the yard. And I'm sure you have seen the motor vehicle. It has just been driven to the police station now. So we are looking for the other motor vehicles uh, which are our officers uh, are following up. But uh, the, the the lawyers have promised that those motor vehicles will be, will be availed to the police. But as, as you have seen, one of, of the motor vehicles has been driven to the police station. So this is why we came here. We hoped that this should have taken not longer than um, we have been here. We thought this would have just been um, in a few minutes, like we came here in the morning around 06 hours. But unfortunately, we could not agree between uh, the police and the lawyers of the, of the former first lady. That's why we had to prolong up to this time. Whatever the case, we are shifting to Woodlands Police Station where the lawyers have indicated that the suspect will be availed to the police. So as it is, uh, thank you so much. You've been here with us. We didn't intend to be here longer than we have been. We thought you'd be here just for a little while. That's why we came in the morning. So we'll be shifting to Woodlands Police Station where the, the suspect has, uh, where we've been promised that the suspect will be availed to us so that we proceed with uh, what we've been doing. Thank you very much. We they indicated that uh, at 15 hours the suspect will be about to the police. So just remove one of the vehicles, where are the rest? Uh, we just heard from their lawyers that um, the other vehicles will be brought to the police. We don't know when, but this is the assurance that we have gotten. Thank you very much. Mr. Mwani, what do you make of um, suggestions that this is just a bad business transaction between the complainant and the, and the suspect? We understand that um, um, the, the, the suspect rather, as a business and the, the, the complainant failed to pay back the money. And as a result, um, they got those properties. Okay. Yeah, it can, it, it, it can be described the way you are saying as um, Bad, as bad, uh, bad business, as a bad business, as a bad business. But uh, in any case, as uh, the police, once we receive a complaint, a, a complaint, we institute investigations, and uh, our investigations led us 
to the recovery of the same properties. So this is where we are. Thank you.